Okay, Jam Manager XT software. How do you take a, a file that you have on your computer and put it into the Jam Manager XT such that it will play on your little Jam Man looper? These in, this software is used for other Digitech loopers, not just the one I have here, the smaller one. What do I have? I have the Solo XT, and I have an I have it hooked up to my computer. I think this is the mini USB format. They give you the cable with the with the uh, jam man, but you can get that. It's it's a mini to uh to standard USB, not micro, not micro or or uh, USB C is I think another one they have. Anyway, uh I think that's called mini USB, but you'll you'll see on your device which one you need. Um yeah, so, okay, so I've got, uh, you know, you got the arrow switches here that let you choose loops. It's getting a little blurry, but if I go back here, these are the loops that I have on my external card. That little card there, and, you know, so if I play this, there's a little drum beat coming out. I have it hooked up to my little quilter amp. Um, double click to stop, go back up. These are the internal ones. Well, that's a cool one. That's off one of them old uh, Roland uh, drum machines. Okay, anyway, back to the uh, subject at hand. How do we take an external file and get it on here? All right, well, you can play with these buttons all day. Uh, what you've got to do is you've got to... You know, you you see this, but if you don't see this right now on your computer, these little guys here, this with the green, it's because you're uh, you're hooked up to something else. Now let's see, how do I get away from that? There we go. Uh, I was on the external. And now it's gone. If I'm on the external, it goes away. If I go to the internal, uh, it's still gone. <laughs> what happened to that little uh, green arrow thing? Well, you hit library, and that brings it back. And it brings up a general library, I think, that's somehow tied to your computer. So if I go up here, it's tied to my... Yeah, it's tied to the computer. So I'm. Uh, I, there's a certain loop I'd like to get onto uh, the Jam Man, and the one is this uh, Swing Beat. It's not in my library right now. The last one I have in there is the Wedding March. Uh, here's, so it's not in there, but it's up here I, on my computer, and, uh, and now it's in here. Okay, does that mean it's on the Jam Man here, and I can somehow keep pressing numbers until I find it? No. Yeah, in fact, you're seeing here now there's there's no number here. If I scroll to the left, you know, there's no number list here. Well, there are some loop numbers here. Should I have labeled this a number? Uh, you know, uh, no. Is it going to be number 115? No, that's just the title. So uh, how do I get it onto the Jam Man? It's actually not on the Jam Man now, even though I pulled it off the computer and put it into the software. How do I get it onto the Jam Man? I go up to this guy, double click, and... That's two copies of the same library. whoop de doo Why do I need two copies? You don't. But here's that new file again. Two copies of that same uh, library you saw that's tied to the computer. Well, somehow, I, I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. It's kind of loose talking say it's tied to the computer. It's files that I got from the computer. Okay, Jamman Solo XT Internal. I'm going to put it in Internal Slot 5 because I saw earlier 5 was open. So there's internal, and if I, uh, yeah, sure enough, slot five. Now there's a number here, slot five. Again, I'm using the internal thing. Here's the general library again, and here's why I needed two copies. I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to copy. I'm going to, now I can do the old copy and paste bit. I'm going to go up here. I, I'm, I'm making sure I clicked on the fifth uh, line item there. Now I can paste. It says the operation can't be undone. Do you want to proceed? Yes, I want to proceed, and the operation can be undone. That's just, I don't know why they say that. 
I'll show you how it can be undone. So here, now I have that swing beat in number five. And uh, if I wanted to get rid of it to undo what I just did, I would just hit delete. I don't want to undo it. I want to hear it. I want to see that it works. Okay, so I, I'm on internal slot two. Let's get to five and, and hope that that beat comes out. Sure enough, there's my swing beat. All right, I'm all excited. Oh, wait a minute. It just stopped. I wanted it to loop. Well, what's going on there? If you don't already know, I'm sure a lot of you already know this part of the procedure. You need to get uh, you need to get it into loop mode, and you do that at setup. Right now, I'm in single play mode. There's loop. Uh, what do I do? Hit setup. Oh, brother. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You hit setup again. Now you can set the tempo. And that's that's the other stuff. That's for another day. It says I'm in single. Eh, I'm just going to go back to loop. And there we are. And I just hit the uh, press the thing. Now if I play it, it should loop. I sure hope it does. It's going to go through two uh, two times through. And now it'll... yeah, now it's looping. Now I can see it'll go on for until I double click the pedal. All right, so that's how uh, you uh, get a a a, uh, a file from your computer to a slot on your either your internal. I could have put it on the external if I wanted right here. There's external, and as I is that external? That's supposed to be external. No, that's still internal. External. Here it is. I look at my externals, they're all empty up here. That's because, again, I had everything at the bottom, at the 200s, because it's easier to get there this way, just going backwards. And so I have a lot of loops up there, but then at 186 and below that, there's nothing. Anyway, I, I don't know how to do much else on this jam, man. I know people will say, oh, that's that's great. How do you do this procedure or that procedure, uh, I probably don't know. <laughs> um, this was the main thing I wanted to do, and so uh, so that's that's the purpose of this video.